What's up guys, Caleb here from SRKCycles.com and you are looking at a 2001 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic. Uh, really good looking bike. Just gonna do a little bit of a 360 here. Really good looking bike. Lots of chrome. Lots of aftermarket accessories. Lots of goodies on this bad boy. Lots of goodies on this bad boy. That sounds really weird. Uh, this is a walk around video, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what's wrong with this bike. Granted, it is a 2001, so you know, it is a little, it is a little bit um, worn in some spots. Also, too, just to note, this bad boy is pushing over 100,000 miles if the camera works. And then you get blown out by the speakers. 102,000 miles, I don't know if you can see that or not, it kind of fizzled in and out there. Starting here in the back, one thing I do notice is this bad boy has got the, the toe hitch on it, which is pretty amazing. Um, you're also rocking some Reinhardt pipes. But actually, all in all, the back looks pretty good. The tour pack looks pretty good. You got a really good looking American flag on the back. Um, extremely patriotic. Love it. But yeah, but honestly, like the, the, the tour pack, and everything looks pretty good. Now here's here's one thing to note. Tour pack here, it looks like you got like a there was like a crack there or a gouge in the paint. And then um he kind of filled it in, it looks like, if it wants to focus in for me. Um not a huge, huge deal, but that one is noticeable, so I just wanted to point that out. It's had these leather tops on the saddlebags, so um, you know, the leather tops are in good shape, they probably protected the saddlebag underneath. Um, let's open this up. Maybe I can balance the camera. Yeah, inside the saddlebag is pretty good. Um, pipes look pretty good. The chrome actually looks pretty good. Aftermarket chrome cover. Is that Arlen Ness? Potentially. Um, it's got these railings here. It's got the, the pegs, uh, the highway pegs. Front, the lowers look like they're in pretty darn good shape, actually. Like, better shape than the rest of the bike. Lowers are in good shape. Now, one thing I want to note on this bike, interfering is not painted. It's like a, I don't know what you would call it. No, never mind, hold on. It's like a cover on the interfering. So the interfering is probably original, but it has like a covering piece here, and it's, you know, a little bit detached, not detached, detached, it's a little bit cracked. Um, but like I said, guys, this has 102,000 miles on it. I'm sure, this bike will be dirt cheap. Nick, right there on the tank. Besides that, though, tank's looking pretty darn good. Aftermarket uh, grips, like I said, street glide mirrors, aftermarket, like interior inner thing here. I like this, uh, the windshield has got a nice, like, lane, sp uh, lane splitter. It's got a nice, uh, a clockworks shape to it. Now the front, the front fender definitely has some like it's not. It's just like wearing the paint. The paint's just wearing away. Um, so just a note there. It's got these like spikes that rotate down here. Don't know how you feel about those. Um, and then we got a we got a little dent. I don't even know if you can see it right there. Got a little dent. Move over to this side. I think step back. It looks really clean, actually. The chrome looks really good. So this guy definitely kept his chrome in great shape. It's the same deal over here. It's not. As, it's not kind of split open over here, but um, it's got this connector or this like piece that goes over the bags. Honestly, honestly, I probably would get rid of the bags. They're a little bit beat up. It looks like there's like a used cigarette in that one bag. Amazing. Um, I would definitely clean that out. Just got this in. Um, but yeah, I'd probably get rid of the bags, honestly. Um, they're a little bit warped, a little bit worn. Good looking bag, good looking bike though. This side of the tank looks pretty good to me. I don't, I don't see anything. Um, some scuffing on the chrome. Let me get that off. Leather on the title bag over here. Okay, so thing to note there, there is a nice scuff right there on that bag. Let me just check the other side. I don't think that other bag had a scuff on it though. Nope. This bag's good. Moving to the top here. Seat's in good shape. It is that old school type looking seat. 
you got the rider backrest, uh, you got the chrome speaker covers, passenger backrest. Everything looks really good, honestly. The, the, I don't see any tears in the seat. I don't see any holes. Like I said, this bad boy has got, let's see if the music wants to just like, blare on me. It's not how it cranked up. Way to go. Let's turn that down. We got 102,000 miles on that bad boy. And this thing just, that's the animal. I mean, it just cranks over right away. Great sounding bike, cranks over right away. That was literally, it's been sitting here now for like 24 hours, hasn't been touched. It's the first time it got cranked over, boom. Beautiful. Got Reinhardt's, like I said, guys. Really good looking bike. I'm doing an exhaust notes video on this, so if you want to figure out uh, what the exhaust sounds like, check out that thing to know. All you Yu Gi Oh fans out there, 